All right. Um, I am going to show you a stamp set from the new mini catalog. I think it's one that we, I don't know that many people focus on it because it's not a holiday or a seasonal stamp set, but it's this Herbed Occasions set. It's a bundle. It has this cute stamp set with lots of fun sayings and some cute little images. I love to color with the Stampin' Blends, so I knew I wanted to play with this one. And then it bundles with a punch um, that you can put the different sayings into, or you can punch it out and make a fun interactive card. So I'm gonna show you some different ways to make interactive cards with this. So first I'll show you just some cute ones that aren't, this is just stamping it on that cute punch. I stamped the car on some designer series paper and just cut it out, cute way. Here's another one with it just stamped. And I think Wink of Stella is like the name of the game. Gotta get the Wink of Stella on there. So those are fun, some fun ones that aren't um, interactive, but one of the best parts about this set is that you can make a card that is kind of a movie card. So I have a few different ways to show you how to do this. Um, this is kind of one of those um, techniques that is an oldie but a goodie too. So if you've never made a penny card, this is how you do it. This card is, it, there's some expense to it. You're gonna have to have some pennies, but it's okay, because it just makes sense. Sorry, I had to think. <laughs> it's okay. It's like Olaf. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so you'll need two pennies and dimensionals, and I'm gonna give you a tip for the dimensional. You're going to take your dimensional, and you're just gonna trim off those sharp edges on the dimensional. You wanna make it, and I'm doing a terrible job of trimming it, but you wanna make it rounded instead of a hexagon. Is that what we are? Yeah. You wanna try and make it into a circle instead. And the reason for that is that we're gonna put our pennies together with this dimensional, and then the dimensional is what's gonna run on our little track. And you want that to be able to spin without a hexagon getting in the way of it. Because it is a proven fact that circles spin better than edges. So you'll take your rounded dimensional and just stick it in between your two pennies and this is the whole trick of that card, okay? So I'll show you how to do it. I This is a three and a quarter by four and a half piece just on the front of this card. And I just stuck the punch all the way down from the top and punched it right out of the little disco ball that I had already stamped on there. And then you can see on the card, so I had that one, I stamped and colored another one behind it, and then I had the moving one. So it always looks like a disco ball. Okay, and then you're gonna take your penny, or your pennies, and you're just gonna slide them right in between your punch, and it will just roll back and forth on there. And then you'll take whatever image you want to be on the front of your card. And with another dimensional, I like to put it onto the penny itself. And then one of the, I don't know what the law is, but maybe physics. <laughs> if, if the weight is distributed unevenly, it's going to roll better. That, any scientists here that that makes sense? Okay, physics, <laughs> sounds good. 
So if you put the, if you position the image so that it's not in the center of your image, it's going to have some, like one side is gonna be heavier than the other. Does that make sense? So then it will make it roll better. So then you have your rolling card and then you just put it together and it's just a cute, fun little interactive card. Okay, next, I'm gonna show you how to do one that will go all the way around. So this is a five and a quarter by one and a half piece. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna punch out, I'm gonna line this up just on the edge of my punch here so that I know I'm not going off of the page. I'm just gonna punch and then I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna line it up so that it overlaps here and I know it's gonna kinda keep that track going. Okay, so just like that. And then I already have some pennies that I've made. So I'm gonna just slip that into my track and you'll have the same kind of thing. We'll put our image on, which this time is a roller skate. This one's a little trickier to cover up because it wants to be in the middle in order to cover up the petty. But the weight is still distributed well enough that it'll roll just like that. And then just put it on a cute card. Add some Wink of Stella, of course. And you have a fun little interactive card. One more. This is just a four by four piece that I um, stamped some of those cute cakes on. And on this one, I wanted to do something different. So I, you'll just stick the punch in and punch it up the center. And I wanted to make more of like a spinning card than a rolling card. So what I did, I took my two pieces that I had punched from my coral piece, and I'm just gonna adhere them just like this. I'll adhere one down first. So you're kind of making the hurly sign, not branded. Before I stick this one down, I'm gonna put my penny in, just like that. And I wanna make sure that my penny can still turn in there which it can, okay? So then I'll take my image, and this one is big because I wanna cover up all the things. If, you, if it's smaller, you could cut these down. But I'm just gonna put my cute little happy birthday in there. He'll just have a fun little spinner one. And I, I stamped this happy birthday all around the edge of the deckled circles dyed. And I thought that was really cute. It fit in there super well. So let me show you the card that I finished. And it's just a cute little spinning card. Okay.